Oh yeah. Really mm -hmm. likes it. Kinda. Only doesn't like it because it has peanut butter right. inside the chocolate. Mm -hmm. But but the pretzels were good. Next time to do this. Yeah. So there we go. And we have the um, coconut chips. Okay, this is interesting looking. These are called coconut chips, and it says they're a mildly addictive snack. Organic coconut chips. It has chia seeds, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds in here. And they're kind of just in, like, clumped in little clusters. To me, that's not addictive at all. <laughs> it's not bad, but not as flavorful as I would have hoped. Or not that they like purple. Just plain. Just plain. Black. Now, if I had eaten this first before I ate all this other sugar, mm -hmm. I probably would like this more. Doesn't really like it. Says it's okay. Says it's not not bad. I think I will actually give another review on this in the morning after we've gotten all the sugar out of us because I do normally like chia seeds, the sunflower seeds, the pumpkin seeds, and coconut. And with the way this is made, I think this might would be something really good like in the mornings with maybe a cup of coffee or something. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to review this one again in the morning. Okay, these are the dinosaur fruit snacks. These also were at Dollar Tree. All this was at Dollar Tree. It says on the fruit snacks that the green is apple. There's a green. The purple is grape. The yellow is lemon. Orange is orange. The strawberry is red. I'll trade you. <laughs> And then the <laughs> blue is blue raspberry. I'll get two. Oh, that's a button. Oh, well, we, we got two. Is there a yellow one in there? No, there's not a yellow one in this package. There's three red ones. Or orange. So you see, it's four. I have two. Yeah, it's hard to chew. These are hard to chew. Okay, so we had this happen last time. And we had some that were hard to chew. If you're buying things for kids, do not buy these for small kids because mm -hmm. they are super hard to chew and they will probably get choked on them. I mean, they don't taste that bad. The flavor is not, not terrible. They all taste the same. On it. Yeah, like I didn't really get much of a flavor in general. Yeah, just, I mean, just, just like gummy. Things, you know? And the apple and the strawberry, both of them tasted the same. Well, first of all, there's not. Oh, yeah, there is an apple. Okay. So, oh, gotcha. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. So, all the flavors taste the same. They're super chewy. They're hard. Like they have a ball. I don't recommend these. I, I wouldn't buy these. Again, ever. <laughs> like, I'll buy them. Ever. But, but not because it's like, like okay. so Now we've got the cheddar and sour cream um, snacks. We've also got the turbos snacks. We have these blondies, which are the little, little cakes. And then we'll go ahead and do like these little pretzel eggs. Okay, so we're going to start with the cheddar and sour cream. We got so many different things I can't keep on separating. Yeah, I think, I think like, um, it's more like the cheddar the egg um, cheese puffs. I like it. Me too. I, I taste the sour cream much more than I taste the cheddar in these. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I kind of taste the cheddar a little bit. I think I would prefer it to be one or the other. I think if they were sour cream without the cheddar, I think I'd probably like them more and vice versa, cheddar without the sour cream. I'm not a huge fan of that. Did you 
you guys think? I like him, but I like it. But um, and it's um, it's gluten free and kosher. My friend Dini will like these. Okay, so they're gluten free and kosher. So if you're looking for something like that, that would be good. I think they're a good break from all the sugar. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So it's a good savory it's a little snack there whenever you're trying a whole lot of sugar. So the last time we did this, it was all sugar. And I'm really surprised we all slept that night because it was so much sugar. And if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go back and do it because it's actually two videos. There was so much and it took so long we had to split it up into two. So <laughs> definitely watch that one. That one was funny. Okay, now we're trying the blondies with chocolate chips. They're like a little muffin again. It's the same brand as the other ones, isn't it? The bakery store? Yeah. That's the other. Okay, so it's the same brand as the other ones. So we're going to see if these are any better than the other ones. Mm. Mm. They're a lot better than the other ones. These are more moist. More, more, more like chocolate. It says try me hot. So they'd probably be really good heated up too. I, do. I agree with that. This Thank wouldn't you. be bad if they were heated up. Be a good little quick breakfast type thing. Mm -hmm. A lot better than the other one. Yeah, yeah, like. <laughs> okay, Dude, I don't like that. I mean, they <laughs> like it, but to me, I feel like I'm chewing straight sugar. It's like it's got a sugar coating or something maybe mm -hmm. on the top of it. I don't know. It's got a really weird aftertaste to me, but they seem to like it. So, you know, try it. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> okay. All right, so now we have the... Now we have the turbos. I don't do spicy at all. Okay, so these do look like they're going to be very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> God, did I talk? Ah! Oh, it was lick it. <laughs> God, did I talk? I'll be a smart one and not eat it. <laughs> These are so... I mean, like, my fingers are just bright red just from touching it. And I barely touched mine and licked it. And it was... If you like spicy, it's very much like Takis. Okay. You know, like cheap Takis. These are super, super spicy. Um, and they do have... It's pepper and lime. So you can definitely get the pepper. There's no way you cannot get the pepper in this. It's very spicy. Okay. You also get the lime when you first taste it, when you first put it to your tongue. So the lime is definitely there. Tons of flavorings. So if you're looking for something with a lot of the heat, try them. It's very savory. It just tastes like talkies. Okay. Do not give that to no. a child. Yes, do not give that to a young <laughs> child because it's going to be super hot. Now, is this pretzel or peanut butter? These are pretzel eggs. Mm -hmm. These are also by Palmer. Mm. Yeah, okay, mine was like all chocolate and like that much pretzel. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't get a lot of pretzel. I'm starting to look full of all this sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that one. Not bad, but I like it. Not as much pretzel. I would prefer a plain one to the pretzel. Yeah, yeah me too. I don't know. To me, the chocolate just didn't taste that good either. Mm -hmm. So it was chalky. Yeah, it it's definitely not a real high quality. Um, Okay, now we've got several other ones that we're going to do this. That's, we're going to do that one last. And then, so this one is 
chocolate and peanut butter. So we will only have three reviews on this one because, like I said, she doesn't like peanut butter. So we will definitely try this. Um, this is just plain old milk chocolate. So these, most of this was at Dollar Tree. There was very little that we got from Walmart, but these are super cute if you're looking for something for a little girl or, I mean, even for a little boy, but, you know, a little girl's going to really think this is adorable for Easter. Mm. It's got the gold foil, and then it's got the striped little paper. It comes in a set of four. I mean, these look, they look like expensive little chocolates. They're really cute. I've never seen these before at Dollar Tree. I mean, it like I said, it, it looks expensive. It looks like a really cute um, little gift that you could get. I like these. They're like a richer chocolate, not as cheap and chalky as the other ones. They actually taste like sweet chocolate, not just fake chocolate. I agree. It has more of a real good milk chocolate taste to it. You can definitely taste the milk in that. Mm -hmm. To where you just can't in some of it. It's it's almost like maybe it's a... I'm just going to go out and say I think they're using powdered milk or something in it. And I think with this, it's like a real milk. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the Kit Kat White Chocolate. I've never seen these before. And I love white chocolate normally. And I love Kit Kat. I, I, I tastes like a Kit Kat. To me, it tastes the same as another another Kit Kat. Um, I like this better yeah. than this regular Kit Kat. Okay, I'm going to say I can definitely taste the white creamy flavor in this more. <sighs> now, I, I am going to say after eating that hot, <laughs> spicy, it's really hard to really get the actual taste of stuff right now. But I can taste that. But to me, it is different. It's a little bit different. Okay. And these are the fruit chews. These are a lot like the, and it is, it does say it's by Tootsie. Tootsie. So it's like the Tootsie Roll. Um, but they're a fruit flavor, and they come with the little piggy bank. And there's, okay, it says there's cherry, orange, Vanilla, lime, and then lemon. So, I'm, I'm gonna the show. Which flavor are you gonna try? I've tried it before, I don't like it. I'm okay. trying lime. Okay, she's trying lime. I got cherry. I got lime and cherry. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna taste the cherry. Try the vanilla. Yeah, I, taste the lime. I think you already tasted it. I, I know. I already had it. Cool. I like it. The vanilla definitely tastes like vanilla. It's a lot like taffy. Mm -hmm. It's basically taffy. Wrapped up like a tootsie roll. I agree. It's a lot like like a saltwater taffy or something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, and I've had these a few times. They're Thank different you. flavors, but like different flavors than these. Mm -hmm. I've liked them. Yeah, I've had before. I don't like this. They're not bad. I, I love a regular <laughs> Tootsie Roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like <laughs> you can't normally keep them whenever they're here, but I mean, those are okay. Like they they're more like a taffy than a Tootsie Roll, so, you know, it's okay. Alright. Palmer's peanut butter egg. Okay, so this is the peanut butter egg. I love peanut butter. This is the peanut butter by itself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then this is the chocolate. Okay, first off, this is a peanut butter egg, but I want you to see the inside of that. There is not much peanut butter in that. 
like chocolate, like peanut butter and chocolate. There's a ton of chocolate. There's not a whole lot of peanut butter in it. It's good. I think it tastes alright. I would love it to have a like double the amount of peanut butter though. What do you guys think? I like it if it has like 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 a little, like a little bit more peanut butter than just like a whole like chocolate. Compare the what it looks like. You can see that that looks like it should have a ton of peanut butter in there. But again, that's your peanut butter. So it's a little misleading. It's okay. I've had better. Okay. <clears throat> now, we've got two kinds of gum. She doesn't chew gum. She doesn't chew gum. So, we're just going to kind of try these by ourselves. And then, we have the wasabi peas. And the last thing we got is baby Grogu. So, we're going to put him together and we're going to See what he does. Alright, these are wasabi peas. It says lightly dusted with sea salt. <laughs> Y'all buy that. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Just try it, Dad. Just try it. Mm -hmm. That is burning my tongue so bad. It's wasabi. <laughs> but it's gluten free, vegan, cholesterol free, and. Disgusting. That literally <laughs> took my breath away. That is like. So. I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say if you poured rubbing alcohol in your mouth, that is exactly what your mouth is going to feel like if you try these. You is your try. palate cleansed? No. <laughs> my tongue and my gums are burning, and I just barely put it in my mouth and cracked it. Don't buy that ever. Ever. <laughs> Unless you really want to like get back at somebody and never buy that. Don't give that to a child for sure. That is awful. I'm not a child. I don't I don't want to Okay, now we've got these painters which are supposed to just color the tongue. And then we have the jelly donut. So so I'll have him do painters and I'll try the jelly donut at the end. This is what it looks like. What color did you get? Red. Okay, so you got red, so we're gonna see if it does anything. That's how that looks like. And I don't really see much of a jelly there. <laughs> we got more over here. Tongue is a little bit red. Didn't change the teeth at all. Mm. So this is jelly donut, but it really doesn't taste like a jelly donut. It's good though. It just has a little hint of grape to it. I really like this one. I would buy this again. Yeah. 
Yeah, changing the tongue for sure. Did you tear my baby up? No. Dad did. His head's just so crumpled. <laughs> I, I tried my best. He just needs a chiropractor. It's fine. <laughs> You're supposed to like press the button and it comes out the bottom, mm -hmm. kind of like a gumball machine type thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> dad broke it. Yeah, it works. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> He's so cute. I can't wait to add him to my collection. No. <laughs> So we want to try again. So if you watch the other video, you can see where we got R two D two last time, and I wished I had gotten this one, and I didn't. And then we just happened to look up today and find this one. So he has the candy in him. You just push the button on his tummy. It wasn't really tight. I think I think I think I know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> Jackpot. Sometimes it puts out one and sometimes you get five. Five. Five hundred. <laughs> so anyway, that concludes everything we got today. So this will actually be split up into two. And um you'll have to come back and watch them both. So with that being said, you have a wonderful day.